The long-awaited meeting between chiefs from the AFNQL, Grand Chief Joseph Takuro Norton and Quebec Premier Philip Couillard finally took place to discuss the nature of their mutual relationships. We caught up with the Grand Chief to get a summary. The uh, meeting with the Premier uh, was, um, I guess you can look at it in one of two ways. One, it was, uh, it was good in the sense that we're, we, meaning the number of chiefs that were there from from the AFNQL, had an opportunity to uh, question and demand answers uh, from the Premier as well as the Minister of Native Affairs, Jeff Kelly. Uh, demand questions be answered and um, to be able to put ourselves in a position where, you know, we say very, very distinctly what we feel this relationship is what, they, what they're calling nation to nation. I mean, we just want to point it out that the relationship is really deteriorated and it's not what it should be. And this, this whole concept of nation to nation, they have no idea what it is. So they, they agreed that there are issues that need to be dealt with sort of at, a, at an administrative level, that a group would break off of uh, our, call them our, uh, our people who work in the operations, administrations, not not Gautamwagi, but uh, you know, right across the board at the AFNQL. They would deal with their top executives and what have you and, and uh, deal with deal with the day-to-day uh, -day issues. On the uh, on the other hand, at a at a higher level, at a political level, there would be accessibility to the Premier's office, to other ministries that have some kind of effect as, some kind of relationship uh, would be a structure directly with the chiefs, as it was supposed to be in the past, rebuilding that relationship again. Because otherwise, we run into the same thing again. We have a meeting, we shake hands, we have a photo opportunity, we all line up and smile, we walk out of there, you know, and then nothing happens. So we said, you know, this we're not going to stand for that. You know, I said, there's, uh, there's issues here where right across Quebec, there's all kinds of... Uh, Companies, foreign companies, local companies, Canadian companies, American companies that are coming in and are establishing themselves, setting up mining uh, operations, forestry operations, all that kind of stuff is it in, and they're not including or involving uh, the, the, the indigenous people of that particular territory. They're just doing what they darn well please, you know. And I said, there's no consultation, nothing is, is in there. You call that nation to nation? Uh, there's no benefit to them, you know, or there's very little. They might hire a few people, you know, sweep the floor or something. I said, but that's it. And I said, I could talk very uh, specifically about Ganawage, but, you know, that's not what we're here for. We're here to talk about, on the higher plane, the political relationship, you know, and, and where's that going to go? You guys don't even recognize um, the United Nations declarations on, uh, on Indigenous people. You've said nothing about that. There are court cases such as uh, Chilquatin, which talks about, goes to the heart of Aboriginal title to the land. You don't want to talk about that, you know. You stay away from that all the time. All you keep t talking about and dealing with is minor issues and more or less you're running the show in Quebec. So it says it's, it's got to stop, you know. So they, um, they kind of hemmed and hawed about it, but they understood and they, you know. So we'll see where it goes from here. I still don't uh, have my hopes up on this. I still think we're going to continue to have problems because Quebec is such a different place than, uh, than, you know, than across the country. To see the full interview with Grand Chief Joseph Tequiro Norton, go to GahnawageTV.com on YouTube.